Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great pre-Thanksgiving. I'm here at the Red Brick House. We are closer than we were yesterday. Still got a ways to go, but we'll be even closer tomorrow than we were today. And that's the thing you got to keep doing in life. You got to keep working hard. You've got to be passionate about what you do and you've got to have drive. Now, <laughs> ask me if we've been here before. We've got Skip, 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 Skip Bayless who he see you know I, I'm an old guy I'm an old angry guy saying get off my lawn Skip Bayless is that to the hundredth degree he is you know when he ended up breaking up with Shannon Sharp it ended up being I don't know who's going to be his lackey because what what he wants is he wants somebody who he can run over and what happened with Shannon Sharp when he first started, you know, he was happy to have, you know, a job and a gig, but he started growing and growing and growing. And he got pushed around to the point where it's like, I don't need this anymore. And so when you bring in Skip, you know, Skip Bayless wants to have people that he can kick around and control. And basically newbies, so to speak. You know, getting you know, guys fresh off the salad truck. And I figured, or he probably figured, that uh, Richard Sherman, since he's really new to this stuff, he just got out of the league, he can be his whipping post. And already, only, what, two months in? It seems to be trouble in paradise. Um. Skip Bayless doesn't like to be put on blast and let, you know, let everybody know that the emperor has no clothes. And Richard Sherman is going to let you know if you're an idiot or not. Listen to this exchange. This is like, wow. Actually happens in the game that does, you can't experience unless you play it. Does Rich McCain? You can't show me a way that you want these tackles to be corrected because you've never tackled. I want you to see me at full speed, Skip. And I want you to try to bring me down. And when I'm dragging you, I want you to not drop your weight down to bring me down. I want you to just let me drag you as far as I can. And then eventually I'll stop when I get to the end zone. If you don't want that to happen, then, then just get out of the way. Get out of the game. What the problem is. What's that, crazy uh, is the, yeah. the Geno Smith me, let one Let me finish, was Richard. I'm, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Thank you. I, I'll, I'll so, let you speak, but you're not speaking from experience. So stop, so stop raising your voice, Skip. Okay. Talk to me, Skip. All right. It, it, are you going to let me speak or not? I'm, I, well, you're okay. speaking on something you don't experience. You don't have no experience doing. So, I mean, what, well, what I've, point I've can you really make? I've covered the game make? for a lot longer than you've been alive. You've it's covered like, the game. Yeah. I've actually played <laughs> yeah, the game I, longer I than you it. ever played. So, it. like, what we're talking about is something that okay. actually happens in the game that does, you can't experience unless you play okay. it. Does Rich McCain? You can't show me a way that you wow. want these tackles. He's like, I've covered it. I've covered football longer than you've been alive. And that's not the same as playing, Skip, 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 Skip. You know, anybody can be an armchair quarterback. Lord knows we are armchair GMs here every single day. But that time, that moment, that microsecond that a play happens, you know, you're. it's easy for us to stand around, get the all-22, Slow it down, back it up, go to the bathroom, come back, you know, because we've been paused it, you know, go to the bathroom, come back, get ourselves a beer, okay, and, and we, can, we, can, we can slow, oh, there we go, wait a minute, wait, wait, oh, stop it right there, look at this guy, he's wide open, it's easy to do that in the comfort of your own house, when you've got the big screen TV, you don't have 300 pound guys that are coming at you within two and a half seconds. You don't have to look at one, two, three, four reads like that and go. And that's basically what Richard Sherman is saying. Listen, 
what you're actually asking for, you don't understand because you've never been in the situation. You've never played football at any level of consequence. And Skip Bayless does not like to be told that he doesn't know what he's talking about. But the reality is, is that's more times than not. Covering football, that's great. That's great. Playing it, having your fingernails ripped off, having broken bones, torn ligaments. You know, it's easy to say, you know, if he had only done this and he only had done that. If you only knew what they actually had to do just to get back on the field. So, yeah, I, I kind of kind of su surprised that it took this long. Because Skip Bayless, when you looked at the first couple of shows, it was actually magic. The very first show. Because you heard Richard Sherman talking. You heard Keyshawn talking. You heard Michael Irvin talking. And Skip Bayless had to shut up. He couldn't say anything. He couldn't get a word in edgewise. He didn't add anything to the conversation. Why? Because brother don't know nothing. Mm. Stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. This could get uglier by the minute. Uh, hope you all have had a great day. And I'll say it couldn't have happened to a nicer person than Skip Bayless. And um, what are we going to do here to roll out? Roll out. Well, I tell you what, since it's Commander's Week, let's roll out to this. My home team, my loyalty, I'm at Uptown Royalty. We fight for all DC, who are we? I speak facts, facts. I'm not making riddles. The hogs open big old holes for John Something up.